Good morning. I am Captain Kurt Warboys, Commanding Officer of the Detroit Police Department's Professional Education and Training. On behalf of Cha Chief James E. Craig and the Detroit Police Department, I would like to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony for Class 2021E. At this time, Sergeant Moore, please present graduating Class 2021E. First off, I'd like to acknowledge the family members and friends who have stood beside you for the duration of your academy training. We would like to thank those of you that were able to join us today virtually for your support throughout this process. I'd also like to acknowledge the mayor's audiovisual team who have provided the families of these cadets a platform to view the ceremony during this challenging pandemic time. Please take your seats. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the training academy instructors who have trained and worked closest with each of these recruits. These officers have dedicated countless hours and expertise to help certify the 16 members of Class 2021E. Please acknowledge the TAC group for Class 2021E, Sergeant William Moore, Corporal Sean Wernin, Corporal David Gonzalez, and Administrative Assistant Garth Brooks with a round of applause. I would also like to recognize the hard work done by the whole of professional education and training, including the Firearms Training Unit, for helping to ensure that these new officers successfully completed this intense six-month program. In addition, I would be remiss if I did not include the Detroit Police Department's Human Resources and Recruiting Unit, who worked extremely hard recruiting and processing these graduates for hire. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication. Now. Please welcome Vice Chairperson Annie Holt from the Board of Police Commissioners to make some remarks to the graduating class. Thank you. Good morning. I am Board of Police Commissioner Annie Holt. It is my honor to serve as Vice Chair of the Detroit Board of Police Commissioners and to represent all 11 board members at today's graduation. With great pleasure, I congratulate and welcome the soon to be sworn police officers into the best police department in the country. Police officers who have experienced the Harvard high caliber law enforcement training paid for by the citizens of Detroit and conducted by the Detroit Police Department instituting the standards of M codes, Michigan law enforcement officers. Detroit police officers, whom I assume will invest at least five years as officers and as law enforcement or law enforcement officers working to maintain the safety of the residents of the city of Detroit. The five years you devote to perfecting your skills and keeping Detroit residents safe will better serve you as you persevere to advance within DPD. After all, you are choosing to engage to keep the Detroit Police Department as one that continues to serve the professional standards of law enforcement. 
as a newly sworn officer, it is your personal charge to become very knowledgeable of DPD's policies, facial recognition, use of force, shot spotters, no not warned, rent evictions. These policies are designed to assist you in your personal charge to become a consummate professional in the business of law enforcement. The 21st century police officer is monitored by technology, video, and other forms of communication. Technology interwoven, which makes you visible, not only to the resident in the precinct, but visible to everyone with a camera, a Facebook account, or an Instagram account. Technology, which makes you visible to everyone in the world. After the ceremony, create the opportunity to read. When you see a hero, I see a human being written by Mr. Donald Robinson. He highlights the fact that an officer's uniform dictates who has the initial control when a sworn officer engages with a civilian during an issuing of a traffic ticket or potential arrest of a suspect. Your law enforcement uniform is body, uh, body armor to be worn with pride and respect. Later this week, I also suggest you view the news release of three, the, the news release of three Colorado police officers no longer employed after arrest of 73 year old woman with dementia. The horror of that arrest went viral and is being viewed by folks around the world. Some might impose the perfect expectation on our law enforcement departments. I, as a resident and former educator, do not realistically subscribe to the perfect model. The excellent model, yes. The excellent law enforcement will, the law enforcer will meet my expectations to ensure he or she returns home safely after executing a job well done. Strive to be the high caliber officer your grandmother or uncle will boast about and take pride in telling everyone about your choice to be in law enforcement with the Detroit Police Department. You are joining law enforcement when times require us all to make sure our actions on social media and in the real world would stand the examination. I'm not just one spotlight, but thousands of spotlights. Police officers especially bear scrutiny, and there may be times when you feel everyone is watching, but no one appreciates your sacrifice for your service. The personal sacrifice to you and your families as you become a member in the business of law enforcement can never be underestimated or overly appreciated. I venture to assert that the Board of Police Commissioners, along with Chief Craig and Mayor Duggan, are here to help you and our community to be successful. Thank you for your commitment to serve and ultimately to lead. We truly appreciate the calling the brave and the bravery each of you has demonstrated as you put on the distinct uniform. So please remember this, the Board of Police Commissioners say thank you for making the commitment to take the challenges ahead in law enforcement with the Detroit Police Department. Each of you has the board's best wishes for a long successful career with the Detroit Police Department. May God bless and keep you always, and may God bless our great city of Detroit. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Commissioner Holt. At this time, I have the distinct honor of introducing our Chief of Police, who during his tenure with the city of Detroit has succeeded in creating innovative crime-fighting programs that have improved the safety and lives of our residents in a meaningful way. With his leadership, professionalism, and vision, he has been able to set a course for the future success of this department. It is my pleasure to present to you Detroit Police Chief James E. Craig. Thank you, thank you. Well, let me just start out by acknowledging um, Captain Warboys and, and your training cadre. What a team, phenomenal. Uh, I've attended so many of these graduations and 
it makes me feel so good having served uh, in your capacity, Captain, uh, in the in the city of LA. I know what it takes to really build the finest men and women. And so for that and your training cadre, I just want to simply say thank you. Also, Vice Chair uh, of the Board of Police Commissioners, Annie Hope, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for being a good partner, uh, you and the board uh, to this police department. Then I want to especially thank the executive and management team of this department. You know, while I hear accolades daily about uh, the great work uh, that's being done, uh, I couldn't do it without this team. This team is phenomenal. And for that, I just want to simply say thank you. So uh, I am truly honored, truly honored to welcome uh, the 16 graduates of class 2021E to an agency dedicated to sustained policing excellence that places our neighborhoods and people first. Soon you will learn what makes our department unique and effective is in the hard work and dedication of the men and women in blue who have committed themselves to serving the people of Detroit with compassion and humility. And I gotta tell you, when we think about everything that happened last year, uh, and certainly uh, going into 2021, uh, the courage, uh, your commitment is well known. Uh, when I talk to my colleagues in other parts of the country, they can't recruit police officers. They just can't recruit. And so for you to take this big step, and I always ask, especially those officers who have left our agency and returned, I ask them one thing, why Detroit? Why the Detroit Police Department? And the thing I hear time and time again, I want to be here because of the leadership and the support. So I'm deeply humbled by that. And I'm sure I speak for both my executive command and supervisory team. But before I continue, I want to also thank your families and loved ones who have supported all of you throughout this, this journey. I trust you will continue to support them uh, in their career. As I already indicated, across this nation, we're, we're realizing a very strong anti-police rhetoric. When civil unrest ensued across America and outside agitators attempted to bring violence here to the great city of Detroit, which clearly threatened the relationships that we've cultivated, and without hesitation, our officers and leaders worked diligently to continue protecting and serving the people of Detroit with compassion and respect. And as a result, and many of you have heard it, our city did not burn. So around the country today, our department is truly recognized as a premier law enforcement agency that continues to drive and, and, and uh, continues to drive the relationship between law enforcement and our community. Throughout the years, we have worked tirelessly to change the fabric of this organization, continuing to renew our focus on transparency and accountability. I wanna take a moment to thank the men and women of this great department who serve courageously, with honor, and with integrity. As a Detroit police officer, it is vital, vital, you remember the badge you will wear is a symbol of public trust. You must maintain the quality, honesty, and strong moral principles of this organization at all times. Keep your private life unsullied and never behave in a manner that discredits you, this police department, and your family. A wise person once said, you can never have an impact on society if you have not changed yourself. Great peacemakers are all people of integrity, honesty, and humility. Know that there will come a time when you feel like you must stand alone. For what is right, even among your fellow officers, you must do. Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Stand for what you know is right, and I will stand with you. This executive team will stand with you. But if you fail to do what is right, just know that you will be held accountable. So I'm going to take a moment to just tell you a short story. Uh, I joined the LAPD after leaving uh, the Detroit PD uh, in the early 80s. And uh, I had to go through uh, field training. And one of my first assignments, I was working with an officer, a tenured officer. He might have had 25 years on him. We got a call of a robbery in progress. 
as a, a new officer, I was pretty quick on my feet. Uh, ended up chasing the suspect. I took him into custody without incident. Handcuffed him. Uh, he complied. He, he did not resist. Uh, as I was walking him to the car, my senior partner, my FTO, told me, give him a good kick in the head, Boot. Now, Boot in LAPD nomenclature is new officer. And so I, I said, I'll do no such thing. I said, uh, he's not offering any resistance. He said, but he's a robber. I said, that may be so, uh, but we're not out here uh, to impose justice. So he was very angry, my FTO. He certainly went back to the station and alluded to some that I was a coward. And I'll never forget that day. I did the right thing uh, and that always stayed with me. And so certainly I got past that. And one would think it wasn't popular to say no, not to a senior officer. Do know when you leave today and you're wearing that badge, you are accountable. Decisions you make today can affect you for the rest of your career. So operate from a strong sense of integrity and honesty. We always expect the very best and nothing less. We owe it to the people of this great city to be honest and true to all of our actions. We must hold ourselves accountable as our community will. Detroit Police Department is driven by its values. We are a department of policing excellence. We place our neighborhoods and people first and we support the men and women in blue. As I always say, and will continue to say, cops count, leadership matters. In a few minutes, when you affix that badge to your chest, Take the time to remember the officers who came before you, who swore the same solemn oath to protect the residents of this great city. Among them were true American heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice, demonstrating the qualities of integrity, courage, and valor. Let us honor their memory by striving for excellence each and every day in all that we do. You are truly now Detroit's finest. Again, congratulations to all of you. Stay safe. Stay vigilant and stay strong. May God bless class 2021E, Detroit Police Department, and the great city of Detroit. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Craig. Thank you. Chief Craig will now administer the oath of office. So if you will repeat after me, I. State your name. Do solemnly swear that I'm a citizen of the United States of America, that I am of legal age, and that I am not now, nor have I ever been a member of any political party or organization, of organization which advocates the overthrow of the government, the of, the government. of the United States by force or violence. I do further swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, States. and the Constitution of the State of Michigan that I will faithfully enforce the laws of this state and ordinances of the city of Detroit and perform the duties of a police officer to the best of my ability. I will obey the rules and regulations of the department and carry out all orders which may be lawfully given me. By my, superior officers. by my superior officers. I do further swear, I do further swear that I accept this oath of office as a police officer, subject to all the limitations, conditions, and restrictions imposed by the Charter of the City of Detroit and the regulations of the police department. 
Congratulations. Thank you, Chief Craig. Thank you. Each of our probationary police officers have brought his or her own skill level to this department. We would like to recognize the achievements of those who have excelled in scholastics and in firearms proficiency. This does not occur, occur very often, but during this academy session, one officer was able to lead the class in both high scholastics and firearms proficiency. The awards go to police officer Kyle Durant. Congratulations. Each class also selects one member who has demonstrated exceptional leadership and overall excellence throughout the training period. The chosen officer receives the Michigan Commission on Law Enforcement Outstanding Performance Award. This award goes to Police Officer Kyle Durant. Congratulations, Kyle. Chief Craig will now present the badges to the new officers. Police officer, Alexander Savoda. Congratulations, Alexander. Police officer, Jose Colon. Congratulations, Jose. Police officer, Brittany Burks. Congratulations, Brittany. Police officer, Mina Baxter. Congratulations, Mina. Police officer, Jacqueline Ali. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Police officer, Brandon Vagy. Congratulations, Brandon. Police officer, Brandon Newman. Congratulations, Brandon. Police officer, Marquise Thomas. Congratulations, officer Thomas. Police officer, Brett Michael Murphy. Congratulations, Brett. Police officer, Amir Ali. Congratulations, Amir. Police officer, Jordan Tizer. Congratulations, Jordan. Police officer, William Faber.
Congratulations, William. Police officer, Justin Holdwick. Congratulations, Justin. Police officer, Kyle Durant. Congratulations again, Kyle. Police officer, Romeo Italia. Congratulations, Romeo. Right. And police officer, Janine Bolthouse. Congratulations, Janine. Officers, please affix your badge to your uniform shirt at this time. Let us give our graduating class a round of applause. Sergeant Moore, please dismiss class 2021E. Class, left, face. Part time, part, huh? Forward, part, huh? Y'all up, huh? Y'all on, huh? Right over the line, huh? Right over the line, huh? Huh? Thank you all for attending the Detroit Police Department's virtual graduation ceremony for class 2021E. Be safe and have a great weekend. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt.